Hello and welcome to Lee Summit Town Hall and your Monday news link presented by Budget Blinds of Lee Summit and the Historic Browning Guest House. I am Nick Parker and with me as always is the Historic Browning's Liesl Hayes. Each week we'll take a few minutes to give you the news, happenings, and events around Lee Summit. In messages to families in the district, the Lee Summit R7 School District has announced a change to its learning model. The new change will allow students in grades four through six to begin 100% in learning. That will start on November 16th. As a part of that decision, the district will also allow elementary students who had opted for online lear learning to change their model and move to in-person before the end of the semester. Initially, those students had committed to the entire semester, which ends January 22nd. You can see link to leesummit.com for more details. The 2019-2020 Lee Summit West High School Volleyball Team received national recognition for its team grade point average. With a 3.674 GPA, the LSW team was among just 464 high school girls teams to earn the team academic award from the American Volleyball Coaches Association. 45 students across the Lee Summit R7 School District received national awards from the U.S. Air Force JROTC. The JROTC program seeks to develop citizens of character who are dedicated to serving their nation and community. Go to linktoleesummit.com for a full list of the awards and the students who were honored. Lee Summit Cares will present a free webinar focusing on a three-step evidence-based approach to beginning a conversation with someone who may be having thoughts of suicide. QPR, question, persuade, refer, how to start the conversation about suicide, will be offered at 4 p.m. November 17th through the nonprofit coalition's Positive Parenting Practices. Registration is required. Visit linktoleesummit.com for more details. As we move one more week closer to the Feed Lee Summit Virtual Gala on November 12th, the Lee Summit Town, Town Hall podcast turns to the second of four local assistance agencies benefited by the event. Coldwater of Lee Summit Executive Director Monica Humbard joined me for a conversation this past Friday about the agency and the people it serves. Find the Town Hall podcast on most of your favorite podcast apps or on our website at linktoleesummit.com. Have an event, tip, or question? Contact us on Facebook and Instagram at Lean to Lee Summit, on Twitter at LS Town Hall, or through email, nick at leantoleesummit.com. Yeah.